very, very confident in the protection that we have uh, from the British forces at Mount Pleasant. We're also very confident in the support we have from the British government. We recently had a visit by Lord Cameron to the Falklands where he reiterated the support for the people of the Falklands and our wishes to remain British, which we uh, expressed in a referendum just over 10 years ago. Um, so we're right. very confident and we also have support, cross-party support in the Houses of Parliament. So we're very relaxed about uh, the attitude of the Argentines. It's nothing new from our point of view. And I think um, we will wait and see what actions this new president actually uh, does in the, in, in the future. I think mm. probably his statements were for domestic consumption. Are you almost laughing a bit at the Argentinian president here, do you think? You do seem, I mean, remarkably relaxed about the whole thing. Well, we've seen it, you know, for the last 42 years, we've seen the temperature go up and down as regards our relationship with Argentina. We're a very peaceful uh, nation. We, we like to get on with our neighbours. We have good relationships with Chile, Uruguay, Brazil, Paraguay, etc., Argentina just continues to make their unfounded claims on the Falklands. Mm. And while you look across the world, people are fighting for, for uh, self-determination in Ukraine, etc. Um, you know, Argentina is just like Russia. They, they, they try to brainwash their people that there is this spurious claim for the Falklands. And as far as you're concerned, there is absolutely no, no claim for it. I mean, would you, would you fight them on the beaches, as it were? Well, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I think I think people here uh, almost are very, very united. You know, I mean, mm. our our referendum, almost 99 percent wish to remain British. And I think uh, there's no reason, although that was 10 years ago, I think there's no reason to doubt that if we had a referendum today, the result would be very similar. So 